Hi cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw J-Hope from BTS. If you love BTS, make sure to check out my BTS playlist and thank you for all your requests to finish up the drawing for this uh, K-pop band. So after J-Hope here, I only have one more to go, which is Jin. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to draw him. So get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw J-Hope, we're going to first start by drawing his face. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. Kind of like the bottom of a U. And come to the other side. So about the same thing, but right there. So I'm going to make it kind of long and wider at the top. And just bring it down and connect. his face in. This is always the most delicate part. <laughs> but you're aiming to kind of have wide on the sides right here and then narrower and deeper. So then from there let's come to kind of where you start and we're going to draw his eyes. So I'm just going to draw a curve and same thing on the other side. We can flick it up a little bit. And then from there, we're just going to be kind of like draw so cute eyes, but we're just going to add a curve. So it's no longer just a circle. And so about right here, I'm just going to add a curve all the way back. So same thing over here. So let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to add two small circles for highlights, a curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top. and the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here. Okay, so then from there, let's make it a little bit wide higher. So now that we kind of have the eyes in, we can pop it up a little bit. You can always fix it if it's too slanted. Okay, so then from there, let's come to the bottom about in this area and draw a smile. So curve up and cap it off. And so then let's come up here. Now we're going to draw his, the, his hair. So we're going to come, um, say, let's see here, just imagine this oval. So say about right here, I'll start on the side. And I'm just going to add some bangs right here that comes all the way down to his eyes. So I'm going to come out with a curve and down really close to the eye and go back up. And I'm basically just going to zigzag back and forth some bangs. So then this side right here, I'm just going to come down really close to his eye once again. Go back up and once again just zigzag all the way across. To that side. So then from there, let's come back and draw his brow so it doesn't look too weird. And you can also, once again, make the eyes bigger if you need to. So let's come and see about right here. And I'm going to add his brow. So right here, you might see a little bit of it. So then now from there, let's come and we're going to draw his hair right here on this side. Let's finish it off. So we're going to come curve zigzag and up. So same thing over here. Curve up, zigzag and up. So then let's bring it all the way to about right here where his hair part. So I'm going to just give myself a point about right there. And come up and connect it back to this. 
So same thing here, but a little bit higher. And down. And if you want, you can add a little strand that kind of comes out if you want. And bring it back in. There. Okay, so then we have his face in now. Oh, and his ears. Let's come in here and just pop his ears in here right here. So just a curve part of his ear. So same thing here, right under. So now that we have his head in, let's come in here and draw his neck. So right in the center here, I'm just gonna draw this line and curve down right in the center and bring out his shoulders. So then right here, I'm going to add a curve for his neckline. And let's see here, let's bring out his shoulders a little bit more because he is wearing a letterman's jacket. So then right there, let's come in here. We're going to start to draw his jacket. So come in here with a curve on both sides. And let's bring this down. So we're going to angle this down on both sides. Now before we finish the jacket, let's kind of imagine his armpits are going to be about this area. So I'm going to give myself a point on both sides, so about right here. And because it is a jacket, it's going to be lower. So about right there, I'm going to start to angle line down. And let's start to angle this down as well for our jacket. And let's come back up here, so where his shoulders are. And let's connect this. There. So let's build an inside panel first for our jacket. So let's come down this more. Bring this down. And I'm just going to keep bringing this down right here. And say about right there, I'll stop. So that's about how long my jacket's going to be on both sides. Stop up right, right there. And in between these two lines, I'm gonna add a slight curve for his shirt. So his shirt is pretty low. So I'm just gonna add a curve. Okay, let's build this jacket now. So about right here, I'm gonna add a little curve in. Come straight down at an angle following this and connect it. So same thing over here. So once again, curve it in, straight down and connect. So then come in here, we're just going to continue that line, add a little square right there, and a line in between. Just for some details on this Letterman jacket. There. Okay, so then from there, since we're over here, let's come to this area right in the center and about this much right here, add a slight angle line, and we're going to just a straight line right there and two angle lines that come out from the center. So then come about right here, we're going to start to draw his legs. So let's start to build his jeans. So we're going to keep coming down. So I'm going to work on this leg first and bring this down. So then coming towards the bottom, we're going to start to kind of wiggle a little bit. So just to give it indication he's wearing these jeans are kind of creased up at the bottom because they're really long, but right there and I'll connect it. So same thing over here. So then from there, I'm just going to pop out tennis shoes, curve, nice and simple. And curve right there, and I'm just going to add two, oops, two curves right there. So then this one, I'm just going to change the angle out a little bit. Bring it out towards the side a little bit more. Just make sure it's the same level. And connect. There, so we have his tennis shoes in. So then let's come back up here and draw his sleeves. So now that we know where his hip area is, let's come down with this sleeve. 
So we're about in this area. Curve it out a little bit. Come in. And so we're going to draw his um, sleeve right here. And bring it in. So then his hands, so thumb, and angle for his fingers, and just bring it in. And you can come in here with a stripe. It looks like a letterman jacket. And so the same thing over here. Slightly poofy, and about the same area. Poof it out a little bit, connect it. The cuff area and the fingers. So thumb, angle, angle, and fingers. There. Okay, so now for some details. Let's come in here and make this look like a letterman jacket. So I'm going to add some creases here and there. And there's this little part right here on the collar. Add a stripe. It's always the hardest part, figuring out what to have these uh, BTS members wear. <laughs> their outfits change every day, right? Even their hair color. So right here, I'm gonna add a little rectangle for a pocket. So hopefully you guys like this outfit I've given J-Hope. And, and you think that I've picked the right one that suits him. Okay, so some circles right here. And same thing over on this side to match the other side. And for his jeans, let's just, uh, let's see here. Let's make them ripped, of course. So kind of like in the knee area. Just come in here with zigzags. Maybe a zigzag here. And then some crease lines right here. And pockets. And Let's see, anything else we're missing? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Let's add a heart right here. And so now he's my J-Hope from BTS. So there, I hope you guys love my version of J-Hope from BTS. It inspires you to draw it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.